just got done talking with hubby. Uh, technically, I should be going to bed. Um, but I'm kind of ticked because I spent about an hour and a half where I could have been writing, watching Transformers Prime with the boyos, you know, anything other than wrestling with uh, the Kentucky Health Insurance Plan. Um, turns out that hubby and I make it just a little bit too much to be eligible ourselves. Um, but after answering the same questions over and over and over and over and over and over, no, 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 I'm serious, at least 12 times the same questions just to get to where I needed to be. Um, hubby and I aren't eligible, but I'm re-enrolling the boyos in Passport. Uh, I'm guessing we still don't make enough to knock that out of the possibility range, um, which is nice. Uh, so all I have to do in the end is just grab the paperwork, print it up, sign it, fax it in. Then I'll be done with that until the next payroll <laughs> change. Yeah, all of this is over the fact we have jobs. I spent an hour and a half struggling with this website over this. I even fired off complaint going, why do you need all this stuff that you've had for years again? Just because of something like, I got a job. I mean, really, what the fuck? Sometimes it really sucks, to be honest. Oh, it also really sucks, to be honest, in the fact that I don't know whether I'm eating crow, whether karma's coming around to bite me in the ass, or karma came around to bite somebody else in the ass. Uh, let me explain, and, you know, in context. Of course, there was the uh, whole, I lost my temper all across my LJ over my supervisor. Now... I definitely had the right to do this uh, within the first week and a half uh, if the man wasn't flat out ignoring me he was insulting me in some way shape or form uh, I know when I'm being insulted um, I'm, I'm dim in some ways but really not that damn dim so I got that I was being insulted or if not snub, uh, if not snubbed maybe both uh, when you were completely ignored and then talked about uh, uh, in front of other co-workers or even insulted to your face in front of other co-workers like they aren't there that tells you everything you need to know well on Friday my one co-worker the one who's been training me uh, told me you know well I'll see what I can do to help out a little bit she knew I was mad she doesn't want me to go anywhere and she knew I was definitely pissed off So she, uh, she was telling him what all I do. That basically just what he has been seeing. The reason why you don't see me most of the time is because I'm nonstop running. That's all I'm doing. Uh, she was like, I hand her, you know, these inventory sheets. She goes and she checks the inventory. I said, when I come back, I hand them to her so she can input them in the system. Then I'll go do, you know, driver moves. I'll go do things like that. I said, you know, making placards, putting placards up. And, you know, and I think that somewhere along those lines, he caught the clue. Or somebody talked to him because he just did a complete and total 360 on me on Saturday. It was like Friday, he was trying to find a way to get communication. And on Saturday, he flubbed. So he wanted me to do something. And I'm like, well, if we do that, that's going to mess up this process. This is normally how this process goes. And he was like, well, I want to do that. You're the boss, no problem. So I started to do what he asked me to do. See him talking with one of the other bosses over here. He comes back to me like five minutes after that, and I'm like, oh boy, here comes something ridiculous. Sure enough, it was. He was like, well, how come you aren't following this process? I'm like, I'm not following the process because you specifically told me not to. You told me you wanted this done, so... Even though I said, this is the process, you said, I want this done, you're the boss, I do this. He was like, no, 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 that's not what I said. I said, and pretty much repeats the same thing that I'd said to him. And I was like, are you serious? I mean, exactly like that. I was like, are you serious? And he was like, well, yeah, I thought I'm like, no, 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 that's fine. Okay. Okay slam the paperwork down that I've got. I'm like, I'll go get on that right now, okay? And I took off 
to go take care of the process that I knew was supposed to happen in the first place. Break time starts to roll around. I am infuriated. I'm completely infuriated. I'm like, either this man is just a complete and total ignorant asshat, or he's one of those who gets, you know, flogged a little bit, you know, but doesn't do chastened, so he'll just turn around and flog you some. I mean, I tell him the process. Most likely somebody caught me doing something outside of the process because he told me to, so they're like, here's the process. Make sure that you understand that. So he turned around to make sure I understood it, which obviously I already understood it. I'm like, I'm not, no, I'm not putting up with this. So break time rolls around. <laughs> First break, I'm already fired up. I mean, I haven't even been there an hour and a half, and I'm already fired up. Step out to go smoke, and as I'm doing so, I'm like grabbing my stuff to go step outside and smoke. And um, he, as I'm going by, he's like, are, are you irritated with me? And I was like, yeah. But uh, I'll get over it. You know, and I kept going. So I go outside and ran to my husband. You know, call him up, ran to him. I mean, it's Saturday. He should be sleeping, poor bastard. But I'm ranting to him. I'm going, look, 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 look. You know, this is what all I've been doing. This guy isn't even seeing it. Now he's chastising me for something I already knew, and I told him. So somebody comes and, like, lands on him, and all of a sudden it's my fault. Why, that's horse shit. That's not what I'm here for. You know, I mean, this is not what management's supposed to do. This is not how they're supposed to behave. You know, if you fuck up, you fuck up. Own it. I mean, the rest of us have to. You own it. Instead of coming up to me and going, well, you're the one who decided to break process. So, I was pissed. I'm like, this is the reason why, honestly, I should have just done this on Friday. Just went ahead and turned it into my two weeks. I'm like, but, you know, my, my, my one co-worker, she, you know, she has this appointment on Monday, and I can't disappoint her, and my husband's like, do what you gotta do. I walk back inside, get back with my work. About maybe 15, 20 minutes later, he comes up to me, and he was like, I want to apologize, and I'm completely confused. I, I don't know what for. Right now, I'm working, so I'm not paying any attention to what the hell's going on around me, except work, and anything related to work, and people moving behind me, and that's about it. So he was like, I upset you. And he was like, and I wanted to apologize for that. And I'm like, dude, I'm fine. I mean, I'm, I'm doing my work. I told you, I get over it. It's all good. I mean, I'm in the process of getting over it. It's all right. And he was like, no. He was like, there was obviously a miscommunication. I fully intended to not route you away from process. He was like, but, you know... It seems that what I thought I was saying and what you heard are two different things. And he was like, I don't know. Maybe I didn't communicate fully what I wanted or maybe I didn't articulate it well enough or maybe I just completely blew the whole thing and just, you know, the whole miscommunication straight out the window. You know, I could have said the wrong thing. He was like, I don't know. I can't remember, you know, conversations that well. He was like, I thought I told you to do this but you're telling me I didn't. And he was like, and, and you just may very well be right. I may have told you the wrong thing. So I wanted to apologize because I don't want you upset. And I said, well, I said, normally you will not see me frustrated. I mean, I'll go outside and I'll jump down and holler, but you'll never see it. I said, so I need to apologize to you because I realize over the last couple of weeks I've been very frustrated. I said, and it's not a good excuse, but I caught a cold two weeks ago and the damn thing still hasn't left. I said, you know, I still, and I do, I still get uh, uh, nice good coughs out of my chest because this damn cold likes to sit right at the bottom of my chest. And, um, and I told him, I said, when I'm not sick, I said, my filters and my frustration levels are just stretched. I said, so I have been frustrated, and that is probably twice now that I've demonstrated that frustration and I normally do not do that, so I need to apologize to you. He was like, no, no, ma'am. You never need to apologize to me. He was like, I'm not allowed to get frustrated with you like that. He was like, that's not, you know, you're allowed to get frustrated with me, it, especially if there is a miscommunication. You, you are allowed to do that. And I said, I don't see how that applies. 
So we actually sat and talked, and I told him, this, this is what I've been doing since I got here. My first three days here, I was on the floor. I, I was doing what you're seeing me do right now. I said, and then three days, you know, of being on the floor, I'm just put into a position to learn clerk. Well, there is no clerk position, uh, and there likely won't be for a long time. I said, so here it is. I have the skills and knowledge. It's not going to help me at all. I mean, I'm, I'm a temp, and I know all these things. It's not going to help me in the slightest. I said, so I'm not technically a floor person anymore, but I'm not a clerk. I said, and a couple of weeks ago, right about the time I caught this cold, somebody was like, well, why is she back here if she's not a clerk? But I am a clerk, but I'm not. And my previous uh, um, supervisor said, I don't want her out on the floor. <laughs> but here I am out on the floor. I said, all I've done for the last two weeks is run my butt off. I said, I do floor work. I said, I know clerk work. I said, I know how to do inventory, which is something that only salary positions do. I don't know how to do the paperwork aspect, you know, the actual inputting in the computer, but that's because I deliberately refuse to learn that. I said, I've, but I go in the racks and I'm counting these things. So I'm doing inventory, which is a salary position. I'm like, here soon, I hear you guys talking about how you want to teach me forklift. I said, so knowing my luck, I'm going to be taught forklift and the position won't be open and he started laughing right about that I'm like I'm gonna know these four different jobs and I'm still getting paid for being a floor person I said so that's frustrating I said I've been here a couple of months I know all these things and it's very very frustrating I said and then you come in and it feels like I'm being stomped on and this is not something I appreciate I said and I totally get it if it's a miscommunication I'm like you know uh, eventually, I, I, I got around to telling him like a couple of hours later because I was like, oh my God, rude, forgot. You know, apology accepted, but this is what I'm dealing with. So, you know, I've been dealing with a cold. Uh, another supervisor manager coming in from another department going, well, geez, looks like she's, you know, bored. So I have to go find things to do. All I do is run my ass off, and I'm getting nothing for it. And then you come in and just start stomping all over me. I said, and this just really doesn't help. So, you know, I apologize my own self for the attitude problem, but I'm pretty sure you can see why I'm frustrated and why that frustration vented. And he was like, I can understand perfectly. Ever since then, I've had no problems with the man. Um, today, my coworker, of course, had her appointment. So I took over the floor. We got a lot done today, and we were very, very short staffed. Okay, no. Short staffed is an understatement. We have eight people in our department, and that's that does not include the supervisor. We have eight people in our department. We had four people today. Um, the uh, parts manager came in to help. He rolled up his sleeves and he hopped in. But that's still that's that's six people as compared to the eight we need to get all these things done. But we still kicked ass. We kicked ass. You know, I got everything covered in the computer system. I made sure everything was straightened out on the floor. Everything looked good, and we were caught up. So all in all, it was it was a pretty good day. Um, and Saturday actually turned out. I mean, for the way it started, especially because it started out as such a bad day. Um, in the end, it turned out to be a pretty good day. Um, so I don't know whether I'm eating crow right now, <laughs> you know, jumping the gun, even though it doesn't feel like it. I mean, because first week and a half he was there I mean he did not make the best impression ever um, he hit my three strikes within his first three days that he was there uh, and that is unusual for me to turn around after you hit your first you know one two three you're out I'm, I'm done dealing with you um, it is very unusual for me to change my mind after that but I suppose communication really is the key uh, once he uh, saw that I am a person you want to communicate with and it is easier if you do so with me um, I get along great just fine with you um, I just prefer to be talked to not talked at uh, and I prefer a at least if you don't need to talk to me at that point in time don't look through me like I don't exist 
that really gets on my nerves, um, especially when I'm literally uh, running myself to death. Um, so once we got past that whole, yes, I actually do breathe and exist. Yes, I actually do uh, a some modicum of work around here. Um, and I like to be busy and I do like to communicate and, and everybody's on board and everybody knows what the heck's going on. Um, I'm 10 times easier to get along with. Uh, and he's loosened up a bit and I think he's realized I'm not going to bite him or bite his head off. So that, uh, that kind of helps there. So like I said, I don't know whether I'm eating crow or, I mean, either which way, I, I feel that my initial assessment of him was correct for that time. Um, but I have had to reassess, and I'm woman enough to admit that I might have been wrong. I might have been incorrect about the man himself. I just had to find out who that guy is and actually get a chance to talk to that guy uh, to find out that I was wrong. And I'm more than happy to go, hey, I was wrong uh, and willing to go forward from there. So looks like I'm staying, uh, at least for now. I am keeping my fingers crossed for my coworker because she is very excited uh, and I'm hoping that things go well for her. Um, cause I want her, I want her to be happy. I really do. Um, I want her to be happy and I want her to be successful. And I want that really for, for, for everybody. I mean, I want everyone to be happy and successful, um, within their lives and within, you know, personal and job wise. Um, and I'm hoping that I can be too. Uh, we'll just have to see how this shakes out. The option is always available to move on if that's what I have to do. Uh, but for right now, um, especially with the radical 360 that I got on Saturday, I think it's time to stop, deep breath, and reassess. Uh, and that's what I've been doing. So uh, update all the way around on taking way too long and not writing because health insurance and the fact that Mandy uh, actually can admit that she just might be wrong. Uh, so keep your fingers crossed for me. Uh, it looks like the boat has rocked the other way again. I swear to God, this company, it's always just up and down and up and down and up and down. So keep your fingers crossed that we at least stay on an even keel uh, for at least the next month. Please. Oh my goodness. Um, and uh, until the next update, take uh, good care of yourselves. Take good care of each other. And I love you guys. And I'll be talking to you soon.